Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here of Morbid Team Entertainment in Bullock for Perry, Philippines. Welcome to installment number four of the overhaul of a Bolex P2. Now, as we last checked in the last episode, my uh, Bolex does have a bad motor. It's a spring mechanism inside uh, the motor. It was on its last leg, apparently. Um, I got this camera off of eBay, and of course, when you do that, you get a lot of problems, and even though they tell you it's working just fine, it worked just fine for a while, but the motor has started giving me problems. Needs rebuilding or replacing, either way. Now, moving on, um, this is going to be on oiling and lubrication, where to oil and where to lubricate. This is very important. Uh, recently, uh, someone inquired about this, and one of the most important things is this. Under the base plate, this is the base plate, you have the take-up reel where your film spool is. Okay? What you want to do with this clutch right here, and let me show you a close-up. With this clutch, when the camera is in the operation mode and there is film inside the camera, the take-up spool right here will continue to take up and fill up with film. The clutch will move up and down like so, keeping a normal rate of speed and tension for the film to roll up on there. Okay? This plate here this leather pad here, you do not want to put any oil on or grease. It will destroy it and will be on beyond repair. It will make the take up spool here slip and give your filming orientation problems. All right? You have this spring and this spur gear. You want to put some grease under the clutch. And when you put these together, like so, and then the spur gear on top, the grease is to be underneath this plate to the take-up spool here. Again. So again, remember, no grease or oil on this leather pad. It will completely destroy it. And in doing so, the film in this take-up spool will not work properly. All right, so let's move on. Okay, next, the clutch, you can remove the spring and the clasps, or you can just simply, and go ahead and clean it, of course, clean it with a toothbrush, and you can add a drop of oil there, just a drop. You can remove the clasp from this gear mechanism, clean off the old grease, and re-grease it. So what type of grease do you use is the question. Weapons grease uh, for uh, guns is good. Uh, slipstream weapons grease is really excellent. You can use that. Um, that's a really good one. Just vi visit your local gun shop and they can provide that for you. When you're going to add a drop of oil to something, just use the standard Singer sewing machine oil is good enough. All right. And moving forward. You grease this area 
inside the crankshaft, including the springs and bearings here. Remember to be careful as they can pop upward or downward. I put them in a plastic Ziploc bag. Moving on. The motor is greased here in these gears and the surrounding area there. Moving on. This gear, interestingly enough, the outer portion is made of plastic. The center is brass. No grease or oil is to go on this gear. And here's a little bit of a, a bit of a secret. Back in our repaired uh, VCRs, we had a particular company who sold us uh, technicians uh, VCR gear grease. And that was just fine. But we would notice that, uh, or I would notice, and all of us, that about every six months the same gears would uh, break that required that grease. The, the gears would liquefy. Those companies have designed that uh, VCR grease for the gears to dissolve the plastic gears, equaling in more repairs and replacement of those gears that those particular company, that particular company, had uh, stock in. Okay? So they made money off the grease, including the gears. And these companies aren't going to tell you anything about that. And these gears are old. Uh, many of them are not around anymore in the Bolex, so no oil or grease on this gear, okay? Moving forward. Okay, this plate and the crankshaft, this spring and this clutch spring have to be greased and assembled back together. So, take the plate, apply the grease here, all the way around. Remember that's some weapons grease. This spring has a little notch in it right here. That needs to go back at the wall here. Put your thumb on that little notch and work this spring all the way around just like so It is for good measure to apply some more grease around this perimeter all the way around. Okay? Ever so lightly. Moving on. Okay, can you see this little indention down here on the chassis of the Bolex? This little line. On the clutch spring right here, you can see it. It's sticking out right there. All right, it has a fit right in there and fit flush. Remember you grease around here. I have on some of my uh, Bolex at times put a drop of a, put oil, sewing machine oil, and it works just fine. But most of the time you're gonna put gun grease around here. All right, moving forward. Okay, again, uh, if you can see this little indention in the chassis, little line, of the crankshaft of the Bolex, and here in this spring, right where my pencil eraser is, this needs to fit right into there. Let's take it, take a look under there, fit it in just like that, look around the bottom, make sure it's flush. Flip it over, reinstall the motor, and 
into some of the other parts. And then you'll see what we can uh, oil moving forward. On your film plate, do remember to put a drop of oil, just a drop, under the clutch. Clean and re-grease this gear. You have to take it apart. Unscrew this. Do not, remember, do not put any oil or grease on the leather pad. Or your film will not run properly. Alright? Put some grease on the very bottom of the silver plate that's touching the film plate here. Alright? Moving forward. Okay, what to oil and what not to oil. First, all the gears I'm about to show you, do clean them with a toothbrush first. This gear, a drop of oil. These gears underneath, a drop of oil. Sliding around. This gear hiding underneath, a drop of oil. Do not apply any oil to the film plane area. Do not apply any oil or grease to your light meter area or your optics. Clean out the old grease. Clean the areas of these knobs and apply new gun grease. Moving forward. Apply a drop of oil to this gear for, for the P2 film counter. Apply a drop of oil on each end for the film counter worm gear. Apply a drop of oil on the end, front, and through the spring and the shaft of the governor. Make sure it's clean also and there's no trash, rust, or burrs through here that will slow it down. Moving forward, do apply some grease, a small amount, to the governor pad just below my pencil eraser. Moving on, do apply a drop of oil to these two gears underneath here, near the film plane. Okay, as you know, you have this film tension spring roller here. There's a roller, there's a spring back here. And at the bottom, there is a washer. It can tend to come off, drop off, and cause imbalance when filming. Put a drop of oil right on the bottom, then reapply the washer and it'll stick right on. Be very careful with this part, it breaks easy. Now you break this part, you're really in trouble, you gotta order a whole new part. All right? So as many of you know, take it, wind the spring about three times, four times, to your chest, toward you, and then apply it to this area here. Now, as you can see, with this film roller, with a spring, it should pop back up when it's seated in there properly from bottom to top, bottom to top. There's a little hole, the little pin below it seats into. Alright? 
Okay, everyone, thank you for viewing the fourth installment of an overhaul of a Bolex P2 on lubrication. Do subscribe to the Morbid Team Entertainment YouTube channel, the Bolex Repair Philippines page, the Morbid Team Entertainment group, bought or buy and sell, and put a like on the Morbid Team Entertainment page. This is Paul Morbid of Morbid Team Entertainment. Thanks a lot, and bye-bye.